good morning, good morning, good morning, you fabulous little people. I hope we are all well. Just doing a couple of things backstage because apparently we're having trouble sharing to Facebook groups today. So I'm just making sure we should sort all that out. So good morning, welcome to Quack TV because why watch Crack TV where well, you can watch Quack TV? With me, Calv K, Quack as himself. Hope you are all well. If you are watching live, Please jump in the comments and say good morning to me. If you are watching on replay, please put hashtag replay so I like to know who stalks me. And remember, you can put, catch every episode on my YouTube channel about there at Quack Talks. So before anyone possibly wanders off to actually go and earn some money for a living, I want you to tune in today. Today, out of many of all my episodes, I want you to tune in because this is a Kickstarter project. It's a Kickstarter item that I'm going to be talking about today. So I want you all on board. If you're going away, I'm going to come and haunt you and I'm going to come throw stones at your window. There's your warning. So, today is a fabulous, fabulous day. Who have we got? Good morning, Kirsty Hall. Hope you are well, my lovely. Good morning, Linda Johnson. Yes, StreamYard is working today. Yes, I hope it bloody is, because it wasn't yesterday. Honestly, technology, we like it until it doesn't work. So, yes, it's going to be a fabulous, fabulous day today, and I am very, very excited. Don't know about you, lot. Make a sure I'm clicking all the right things. Yes, I am. So, today, it's a great day. And the reason I say this is because this person i'm bringing on today represents um a kickstarter project one of the founding members of it i'm bringing them on very very shortly um and i actually just saw this product on social media just saw it and i was like oh i like this i like this because this is how i work with my to-do lists and so on and so on you know this is how i work and how i work with clients so i just got chatting to them and then matilda who i'm going to bring on very shortly um actually said yeah would love to come on, to show, come on the show absolutely great so make sure you tune in because it's gonna be a really really good day I don't know why I said Linda Johnson. Linda Goodson? Yeah, I thought that after I said it. It's all right, Linda. Linda, you still love me. Don't worry about it. But yes, so what am I going to talk about today? The days of the year, as usual. Remember, the days of the year, the reason I do this, because I really like doing it, and it's easy social con media content for you every single day of the week. So today is International Dance Day. I don't care if you are a proper dancer or you're dancing in your bloody kitchen. Get some music on and have a good old boogie. Shake your bums. That's what we want. It's also We Jump the World Day. Do with that what you will. Apparently, We Jump the World. Put an atlas on the floor. Jump over it. I don't know. It's also World Wish Day. Go find a well. Go find a river. Go find a dandelion. Let's make a bloody wish. If it's not your birthday, fuck it. Get a cake. Blow out some candles. Who cares? Let's make a wish day. It's also Zipper Day. Wow. It is Zipper Day. You know that thing between your legs? Now, now, children. Now, now. And it's also good diaper free for a week. I don't have kids. Um, but I know that if they're wearing diapers for a reason, you don't want them crapping all over your kitchen floor. Just just saying. So, yeah. So, there we go. We've got good diaper free week, zipper day. It is world wish day. We jump the world day and international dance day. So, there we go. So, I like this. I do not need another excuse to eat birthday cake. No, you don't. Do you know the amount of times I've bought cake just because it's reduced in Asda? Other supermarkets are available, but I've just done it. Anyway, so I'm about to bring on today's guest. I'm really, really looking forward to this. We've just had a real good chat backstage. Just haven't known each other for years, if I'm really honest. We've only just met. It's great. So with no further ado, we are going to be talking to Matilda, who is the head of marketing. At, I believe, I hope I'm going to say the business name right, Enso. Um, but she also works for ASOS. So trust me, this girl knows what she is on about. So with no further ado, we're going to be talking about my Kanban. Oh, good morning, Matilda. Hi, <laughs> Colin. <Alan. laughs> right. I'm good. How yeah, are you? Thank you. <laughs> good, good. So before we dive in, Matilda, can you just tell everyone who you are and what you do? It can either be your muggle job and my Kanban, or it can just be my Kanban. I don't mind. Tell us a bit about you. Yeah, yeah, of course. So uh, my name is Matilda. I'm 26 years old. Um, so yeah, I work at ASOS in project management. Um, and then in lockdowns in the past 12 months, I've also been working on my uh, project with a couple of friends. Um, and it's a portable Kanban board. And we went live to Kickstarter um, about yeah, a day or two ago, and it's really kicked off. Um, and that's kept me busy, especially when you've got a bit of time back over the weekends when we've been in lockdown. <laughs> Love it. So just so people don't know, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring up the share screen now because we was like, we'll bring it up. This is my Kanban, isn't it? Right. This is my Kanban. This is the product. This is the Kickstarter product, right? What is my Kanban or what is Kanban? What is it? Yep. 
So Kanban is, uh, it originates from a Japanese methodology, um, but to put it in kind of simpler terms, it's a board that has kind of your to do, in progress and done. Um, and, and working in project management, we use the Kanban method a lot. And what it should really help you do is it should help you focus on the things that matter the most, the most important tasks. And you'll see on the board, you've got the pink, yellow and uh, white stickies and they're all by priority. So you have the high priority products that you know that you need to get done that day. And then you've got the medium priority um, projects and then you've got the lower uh, priority projects. And it's also quite limited. So it is a smaller board, but it's because it should help you focus on only a couple of things. And realistically, you should actually only be working on kind of two, three at, at the most um, at a time. And it's a portable board as well. So when I was working at ASOS um, before lockdown, we had it as like a whiteboard paper. So it was huge, yeah. it was on the wall and I loved it. And then I started working um, working on it and kind of creating my own and what what we found is I just had sticky notes everywhere in my bedroom and especially when you're in lockdown it was it was making me a bit insane <laughs> so yeah. um we decided to talk about kind of products and um me well myself and uh three of the friends were saying okay what kind of products can we make that are really going to improve our productivity um and this yeah. is our first product that we've just launched so it's the, it's the portable Kanban board and I think the main thing is just making sure that you can work in the office you can work in a cafe um you can work at home and you can take it anywhere rather than taking all the sticky notes down from your bedroom wall taking it with you um so yeah that's the that's the that's the product <laughs> See, i absolutely love that because obviously there's many people that love technology and they love good old-fashioned pen and paper so you know there, there is trello there's asana there's loads of other digital ones but i guess a lot of people like yourself you're saying are very i'm going to say old school you know pen and paper i'm pen and paper this i'm trust me i'm getting my cam man but this is mine i'm pen and paper this is my stuff i need to get done um and that's how i work so i take it this is great for people that like you're saying maybe use post-it notes quite a lot mm -hmm. but actually really like the old style of actually doing stuff you know they don't have to be daunted by all this like modern technology and things like that yeah yeah, definitely. And I, I'm the exact same. And I think as well, when you're working, you're constantly tied to a screen and then you finish work and you might, you know, go for a walk, see some friends, but then you go to a TV. So for me, it was having something that's away from that. So having that separation and I've, I've tried loads of softwares that, you know, have that that Kanban board there. Um, but it is, it's having that physical element. And there's something satisfying, I think, about taking that post-it and yeah. pro to me to do yourself. Yeah. No, you're completely right. You are completely right. Like, I absolutely love it. So I've got a couple of questions and hopefully our internet's holding up because I think my internet's been a little bit crap today, but we'll power through. We'll power through. <laughs> so Chelsea, of course, you've got a couple of questions. I know how Chelsea works because I know her personally. So she goes, does it fold up like an iPad case? Yes. Yeah. So it's exactly like an iPad case. Um, so you've got kind of the leather um, on the back and then you can just fold it up and you can pop it in your backpack. So this is why you're saying, like, you know, literally, like you just said, you can't take your post-its off your wall. You can't do anything. But with my Kanban, you can, you know, because your post-it notes, obviously, by the picture, uh, yeah. are in the case with it, aren't they? You know, so they're yeah. in there with it as well. Like, that's awesome. I love it. She's also said, bear with me, can you buy the post-it refills? <laughs> Yes, yeah, you can. So um, if you do head to our Instagram, there's our Kickstarter link there. Um, and there's a few um, different types of things that you can buy. So you can buy the board and like three months worth of refills. You can buy the board in six months or 12 months worth of refills. Um, and then whenever you run out, we can just send you some more. So yeah, always get, you can always get refills. <laughs> so I'm going to ask a big question. And I told you this just before we came on. Why Kickstarter? Obviously, I understand for a lot of people, it's cash flow and things like that. Was it also market research as well? Just kind of seeing what people thought of the product. Why Kickstarter? Um, it was a few reasons, really. So um, obviously, there's myself and, and three other friends that are involved. And two of them actually work in startups. Um, and one of them even has another startup. Um, and we were talking about kind of what to do. And, and especially with a product like this that is so high quality and high end, and we really are using the, the best products. We we wanted to make sure that there was that demand for it. And with Kickstarter, is 
it's a good platform where you can show your creative project, but it's also quite low risk because yeah. you can understand the demand for it. So um, when you go to Kickstarter, you can set yourself a target. So yeah. our target was £3,000. So we knew if we got to £3,000 in sales, we would keep going and there was demand for it. Um, and, and the great thing is, is actually when we launched, we reached that target in five hours. Um, so we knew that there was a demand for it and it, you know, it was amazing and we're still yeah. like... Oh, five hours? <laughs> five hours, yeah, yeah. Fuck my life. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, because I'll be honest there, I know Kickstarter is very, very different to crowdfunder and, and go from yeah. it. I know it's very, very different. Mm -hmm. Kickstarter, if anyone watching doesn't know, obviously, is for kickstarting products, isn't it? You know, mm -hmm. um, and I believe you pledge an X amount and you can get a reward. So you may get the product for free. You may get a discount on it. Do you have the pledges on there for people as well, like the rewards? Do you have that on yours? Yeah, so you can either um, pledge any amount just to back the, the project, say, you know what, I like the project, um, yeah. and you can back like £5, £10, or you can actually buy the product. Um, so there's a lot of different price points, so it will start with just the board in three months, and then it will work its way up. Um, and then, you, yeah, so you can buy it there straight, and there, straight there and then, um, and then we'll obviously be, be sending it to you. Um, and I think as well with um, Kickstarter, because you've also, because it's such a creative community, yeah. you've got people coming from there that have never seen that project and you yeah. can really get a really good response and comments as well and it can shape up the next design process. So, yeah. for example, we had like a comment uh, yesterday where, so at the moment we only offer it in like a brown um, vegan leather and we're talking now about different colour options in the future and it's, it's not something like straight away, but hearing that as well from having that open conversation on, on Kickstarter. Yeah. No, you're completely right. And obviously I I, I have a, about two or three friends that actually shop every now and again on Kickstarter. So that's what they, they shop on Kickstarter because they're going, actually, mm -hmm. a couple of these products, one of a kind, no one else is going to have it yet. Yeah, go on. We'll throw a bit of money at it because then we're going to get the product when it's done anyway. So mm -hmm. What is the hope for my Kanban? Are you wanting it, in, like you said, you used it in a creative space, you know, you used that method in marketing. Is that what you're hoping for, that hopefully you can have office blocks where each member of staff has their own um, Kanban? What, what's your, your longer, long-term aim and goals with it? What are you going for? So I think when we initially started 12 months ago, our aim, so the business itself was called Enzo Design London. Um, and our aim was to create products that help with productivity. And that's something that all three of us are just massively into. Um, and obviously the, the first product is the, it's the Kanban board. And I think we, I guess we were quite mindful that we didn't want to get ahead of ourselves. Yeah. And when we're getting, you know, really good response and getting comments and, you know, our following was growing and things like that, we're like, oh my God. I was like, we could get an office, we could do this, we could do that. Um, what are we going to do for our next product? And Tom, the guy, was like, guys, just, just calm down, hone it in. Like, we need to be we need to be realistic. We haven't launched yet, and then let's play it by ear. Um, so I guess we're only two days into the launch, but I think moving forward, it's it's about getting, first of all, that, that product out that we've got, um, making any changes if we, if we want to, if there's a demand for it, um, and then potentially maybe thinking about a next product to bring out as well. Oh, I love it. I love it. Absolutely <laughs> love it. Honestly, it's like, so, for example, I'm going to mention Chelsea, actually, who I brought a couple of comments on. Chelsea um, does quite, has a couple of different businesses, and she's asked, um, well, she said, girl, get on TikTok. My business, small business buddies will go mad for this. Have you considered or are you on TikTok or anything like that with it? We're not actually on TikTok. Um, but yeah, I mean, something that we can definitely get on. I think because there's only a couple of us um, when we're yeah. talking about um, social media channels to use. Like, right, we just need to kind of pick two and, and really go after them. Yeah. Because I think if we went on after a few, um, we we wouldn't be putting enough into it. But yeah. to be honest, like we are using Facebook and Instagram at the moment. And I think Instagram's been great in terms of yeah. getting a lot of customer feedback and you know open opening those conversations. But something that surprised us is when we went live, we all did a, a personal LinkedIn post. Um and like my LinkedIn post got three thousand five hundred views and we're looking at the Google Analytics or the traffic. And we're looking at the people buying it. And actually, so much came from LinkedIn. Um, but, yeah, I'd be really open to trying TikTok. 
I think you've just Honestly. got to try it. You, so yeah, yeah hell yeah you've got, you've got to try it and you know i i'm a tiktok addict i really really am and the amount of businesses you see blow up on there because for me mm. personally from a marketing point of view it's got the algorithm right you know it, it's got it right you don't you don't have to wing it you don't have to guess it if people start watching similar videos of some sort they start seeing more of their videos they've got it right get on tiktok i'm telling you get on tiktok okay watch oh, no. this time. On there. Yeah, watch it stay. Get on TikTok. But no, that's great. So I know you said obviously a couple more products coming up hopefully in the future. What is hopefully the plan for hopefully say it right, Enso and you know all my can man? What is of hopefully the growth for you guys? To, to be honest, like I think we we don't fully know yet, and it, just because yeah. we've been trying to kind of keep keep calm and not get away with ourselves, but the, the plan is, I think, just have like a line of products that are really are, are going to help with productivity. And I think it, it's interesting that we started this venture at the at the very start of lockdown, and all that has happened since lockdown is working from home this new way of working and for me personally like I'm working 50% in the office and 50% um at home and it the product has just seemed to become more and more important and especially like for me just I mean I worked in the office yesterday and the day before and just popping in my backpack and off I go um and I think it is as well as people have are becoming more aware of being more productive as well and I think we've kind of hit that stage where we've been working from home for over a year and it's like okay like what do we need to do to kind of keep going and keep in that like mindset um yeah so i think yeah plans is, is more products see i love stuff like this because I, I do think it's it can be quite a rare find to find something really nice for your desk or something like that that's not just tat you know it's, it's a one-of-a-kind thing that you can use it's not just tat like I, I love products like this because it, it really has a use and it's going to really, like you're saying, actually help your productivity. It's not going to slow you down. It's going to, there's no negative side to it, it, it at all. It's just going to help you in every way possible. Matilda, is there anything else you'd like to say before we finish the show regarding the product? Other than obviously people, please pledge, please give money, please go to the Kickstarter, do everything like that. Is there anything, anything else you'd like to say? Um, yeah, just say give us a, a follow on Instagram. It's Enzo Design London. Um, have a look at the the product. Let me know what you think. Like the DMs are always open. Like please, like have trust a me, the hour. Open. That's how I go on the show. <laughs> <are> open. Um, <laughs> and Chelsea, like I'd love to chat with you more. So yeah, give us a follow and um, and send me a message because it'll be I'll really good. I'll, I'll, I'll sort you out with Matilda. I'll sort you out with Chelsea. Don't you worry. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick you backstage. Don't rush off straight away, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right. See oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. And hopefully the internet signal was okay for people. I know we had a couple of moments there. But like I said, you love technology until it doesn't properly work for you. So yes, there you go. You've been watching Quack TV. Because why watch Quack TV? We can watch Quack TV. And tomorrow we have got the one and only Jenny Leggett on the show tomorrow. Author, copywriter, downright awesome woman. Um, so I've got Jenny Leggett on the show tomorrow. And... Make sure you tune in tomorrow because I've got some announcements coming for the next couple of weeks regarding season two of Quack TV. So make sure you tune in tomorrow, half nine. And like I say every morning, in the words of my nana, if you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be careful, don't get caught. <laughs>